What's going on, guys? Um, this is Demon Spoke. Uh, I do take requests um, when I have the free time, and I recently got a request from Krim Weedy and sent me. Uh, they sent me a message on YouTube, and it said, "Hey, Demon Spoke, think you could do a tutorial on decent free antivirus software besides Norton or AVG?" My trials have ran out, I can't really afford to buy full antivirus security. I think it'd be great if you could show the community slash subscribers your thoughts on the subject. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This isn't really much of a tutorial, this is more of an informational thing, um, my personal experiences with the software and such. Well, to tell you right now, I am currently running a vast internet security, and this is the full paid thing. Um, I've found that this is the best, I've tried so many others. This is the best for me. If you're willing to spend the money for it, I recommend it because it's totally worthwhile. So, but this is not about antivirus you pay for. This is about the free antivirus. So I found this website called SaveDelete.com, uh, and you know, slash top 10 free antivirus software of 2010. I knew it's a, I know it's 2011, but these are still good. Um, so I thought I would go over each one on the list. And you know, give my thoughts on it because most of these I've tried. Okay, you know, there's probably six out of these I've probably tried. All right, and then I'll show you like an additional free security system for your PC. So let's let's go down the list here. Microsoft Security Essentials. Um, this is completely free uh, to act to uh, you know PC users. You can get it on the Microsoft website. There's even a link. There's a link with all of these. Um, you know, it's not terrible. It's not a terrible, you know, security suite, but I found it lacking. Uh, it's not as thorough as all the other ones are, all the other uh, security suites, and it's. It. I just personally don't like it. I mean, it's completely free, you know. Give it a try. You might like it better than I do. So, go for it. Uh, here's the second one. Avast Free. This is the one, one of the ones that I would recommend anytime. This is a great free uh, security suite. I would recommend it. It's very thorough when it comes to scanning. It can find Trojan just like that, just like so easy. Um, now it's 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 a little watered down from the you know full version. So you know, give it a try. If you don't like it, like I said, this is personal personal preference. You just find the antivirus for you. Alright, moving on. A V G. This is the one that he or she, I don't know. I didn't check if it's a guy or a girl, but um, they said, oh, I don't want AVG. And you know what? AVG is not one of my favorites either. Um, even with the, f the, the full version, eventually the automatic updates break down, um, and you either have to reinstall it or do it manually, and I'm telling you, manually updating this thing is a pain in the ass. So, just be wary of that. I mean, everybody just, you know, swears by the software. I personally have had some really bad experiences with it. It is very thorough when it comes to scanning, but not for me. But, you know, like I said, give it a try. It's completely free, so go for it, you know. Uh, Bitdefender. Ooh, I tried this one. Um, oh, it was... I have I I had the uh, the trial version of this. This is the free version, but I had the trial version of it, and it didn't it it just it didn't work out very well. It started glitching out after a couple of days, and I don't know. I've never really tried the free version of this, but you know, like I said, personal preference. If you want to try it, go for it. Um, it's pretty thorough when it comes to you know, scanning, uh, it ups, it, just like all the others, you know, it's virus database updates regularly, so on and so forth, so give it a try. Okay, antivirus, 
their Avira antivirus is one of the first antiviruses, free antiviruses, mind you, that I ever tried, and it was great. I don't know how great it is back now, but back in the day, this thing saved me so much time. Um, so, you know, from what I've heard, it can tend to have that same issue with the updating. Uh, I've never experienced it myself, but you know, you never know. So, if you want, try it, you know. I've had it before, I thought it worked pretty great, so, yeah. Komodo antivirus plus firewall. Now, this is fairly new when it comes to the paid version. They didn't, this used to be completely free because it was in, I believe it was in alpha stages and I was using it then. Uh, it was very thorough, but the thing is, Komodo antivirus plus firewall, it's, it's too thorough. It, it asks you about every little thing your computer is doing, whether you want to approve it or, you know, ignore it or whatever. Uh, it tends to get really annoying, and I've actually put this on, on my friend's computers, and they found it just annoyed the crap out of them. Uh, it it's So, mind you, it is thorough, but it's a little too thorough. And I'm not entirely sure if this is still, they still have the free version for this. I think they do. But, you know, give it a try. You might like it, you might not. You know, it might be a little too thorough for you, so. Yeah. A squared free. This is one that I've never actually used, but um, I have heard from friends, you know, saying, oh, well, it's not entirely amazing, but it, you know, it gets the job done for free antivirus software. And, you know, that's all I can really go by. Uh, it's. I, I've I've said this over and over again. I'm sounding like a broken record. I apologize, but this is just per personal preference, you know. Rising antivirus. I've never heard of this ever. So I don't know what you're gonna get out of this. Yeah. Uh, PC tools. Okay. Um, PC tools. There's both of them here, PC Tools, Spyro Doctor with Antivirus, and there's just, just PC Tools Antivirus. Some people swear by this. I liked it, but my main issue was it was it wouldn't uninstall completely. Um, it would either, either start glitching out when it's uninstalling, and I can't even get it off my computer. I believe I still have it on my computer. It's just like halfway uninstalled. But, uh, from the way it runs is great. I mean, other than the fact that it's a pain in the ass to get off your computer, uh, it gets rid of the viruses. It's very, very thorough. Uh, it's, it's, it's good software. Um, both of these are pretty good. I, I, I've never tried the PC Tools antivirus by itself, but I have tried Spyware Doctor with antivirus. Uh, they have free versions of both of these. And there's an extra one, which is Drive Sentry. I have never heard of it. If you want to give it a try, go for it. Uh, on to my the bonus thing. Uh, I just found out about this. Uh, this is a called Adware Free Internet Security. And now this is... This is uh, this is an antivirus, as well as an adware bro blocker, as well as a malware protection, you know, suite. So, from what I hear, it's pretty good. Uh, it's one of the best. It's got great reviews, and, you know, like I said, I'm an expert, so go ahead and give it a try. So the basic thing, the basic concept here is what you're most comfortable with, what, you know, you like the feel of, you like the results of, you know, don't just take my word for it, go do a little inv investigating yourself, because you might think some completely different things than I thought for the stuff I mentioned. So, you know, if you have any more questions, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Um, I take requests, uh, and I'll get to them when I have free time. Um, 
so yeah, uh, if you have any comments, well, I mean, if you have any questions, put in the comment section, or shoot me a message, you know, I will respond as quickly as possible, and from what people tell me, it's pretty damn quick, alright? Alright guys, we'll take it easy, and uh, catch you guys later.